Now, the older I get, the more I realize that there's not a lot of good people in this world. 50% people don't even care about being righteous, and 50% of the other half just lying. So, so my yeah. If you eat beef and it gives you gas and indigestion, then maybe you shouldn't be eating beef. If you eat carrots and you smile the rest of the day, maybe you should be eating more carrots. If you um, ride in your car on 395, 495, whatever major highway that's near you, and the whole time you're enraged, maybe you shouldn't be driving. Maybe you need to find an alternative method of transportation. If, if you... Um, yeah, if you, through your whole life, have dated men who've always had another woman, and all you really want is a husband, maybe you shouldn't be dating men with other women. If the man that you want, and have wanted forever, is with someone else, and you've been trying to get at him forever, and he's still with that somebody else, maybe you should set your goals somewhere else. Maybe you should think about what it is you truly want and go after it. What is it about that particular person that makes you want them so much? What is it about that particular person that, you know, you, you know, makes you want them? And then you find someone else that has that same quality and go after them. Um, if you're reading... and. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but if you're reading Zane every single day, every single day, and all of a sudden someone tells you you're too sexual, maybe you should think about what you're reading. You know, if you're listening to music that has absolutely no content, and someone tells you all you do is ramble, you don't ever talk about anything substantial, maybe you should think about the music you're listening to. And I'm just, these are maybe. I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't listen to that music. Everything in moderation. You know, if that music gives you a good feeling while you're driving, then listen to it while you're driving. Um, if that music gives you a good feeling while you're cooking, then listen to it while you're cooking. If it gives you a good feeling while you're working out, then listen to it while you're working out. But don't, you know, bombard yourself with this music all day long and then wonder why everyone says all you say is rhetoric. Because all you listen to all day is rhetoric. Alright, I'm going to start with that as well. So basically what I'm saying is, it's all a choice. And that choice starts with your mentality. If you know what you want in life, plot a way to get there. And stay on that plotted path and that you achieve that goal. If you want to lose weight, plot a path to get there. Work your ass off, and I'm sorry for the cursing, I usually don't curse, but work your ass off until you get to that point. If you want to be a raw foodist, throw away all the meat in your house. <laughs> you know, throw away your pots and pans, or give them away, you know, and work hard at it. You know, keep making food until it tastes real good to you and that's what you want to eat. I just, I don't, and make the choice. And also, once you make that choice, know that it's your choice. And you can't make anyone else, no one else, have that choice that you've chosen. I'm sure this is, like, really long, so I'm going to stop. But I just wanted to say that through my observation, mentality is important. And you can have positive or negative mentality. It's totally up to you. No one can make you choose either one. You've got to make that choice. But live it, embrace it, love it completely. And be it. Be it. Peace, y'all.